Assigning interactive lessons with Easel is easy, and students can access and complete the activities from any computer or tablet. Let's take a look at how it works. First, start with an activity you want to assign to your students. You can find ready-made Easel activities on TeachersPayTeachers.com or with a TPT School Access subscription. You can upload a PDF you have rights to edit and use to Easel, or you can create your own activity on Easel from scratch. Be sure to check out other Easel videos for tips on how to select and create activities. After you've selected or created your Easel activity and customized it with the annotation tools, click on View as Student at the top of the screen to see how it will look to your students. If the resource looks the way you want it to, you can assign it in a number of ways. Since so many teachers use Google Classroom, we set up Easel so you can easily assign activities there. First, click on the Assign and Review tab at the top of the Easel screen. Then, click the blue Assign button at the top right. In the pop-up box that says Assign to Students, you'll see an option to share on Google Classroom. Click there, then choose your class and select Create Assignment. From there, follow the same procedures you normally would to create an assignment in Google Classroom. Don't use Google Classroom? No problem. Instead of choosing Share on Google Classroom, select the option to Generate Link. You may be asked to confirm your school name and email. Then, you can copy the link you generated and paste it into the learning management system you use or in a direct email to assign it to your students. If you'll be assigning the same lesson to multiple classes, you can group student responses by class. To do this, click on Create New Code on the left side of the easel screen. If you have multiple classes, consider creating one code per class. Then, click on the code itself and make sure it's highlighted before clicking the blue Assign button at the top right. Then assign the activity through Google Classroom or by generating a link, just like we showed you. The code you've selected will automatically be included in the link students will use to access the resource to help you keep track of what link should be used with which student group. Thanks so much for watching. In the next video, learn how students experience easel activities.